to Inside Gyros, welcome back. Join me for the review of the AG915 Javelin. The biggest gyrocopter right now available in the United States. Tested. So this is the review of the one of the test flights of the AG915 Javelin. Hot day, summer, no doors, um, low cargo, low weight. Uh, we are trying at that time. We're getting the information for the rotor. It's a it's a big rotor. It's a big surface, and. We are trying to gather all the information so you can have the right speeds and the right procedures when you operate your AG915 Javelin. The AG915 Javelin is powered by the Rotax 915 IS engine. Alright, so the, um, the video is in the air all the time, we flew for 45 minutes, it's more or less the video is cut at the end, uh, in the return there is not much to show at that time. Uh, what is important here for me is to show you the flying saucer concept. This is the takeoff, ladies and gentlemen. You will see the moment I start putting tension on the mechanical system that give the first speed, the, the first storms to the rotor. The rotor becomes a saucer, right? The flying saucer is technically a flying saucer. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, it's a flying saucer. It's not a helicopter, it's not a fixed wing. These gyrocopters are flying saucers. The rotor behaves like a saucer. This is what you have. This is the behavior. You are putting pressure. You're, you're, you're putting pressure in the air. So that's because you go in the air when you're pushing forward when you end with the engine. That's what you are flying. You're flying with a kite. It's a saucer. It's a flying saucer. With our new Gyrotech technology for the rotors, you will be able to understand it. You will see your saucer. So check it out and check our, our website for more information about the flying saucer concept. So after the takeoff, we just take some power, go some altitude and go some area that we will not have any issues with the neighbors and we can go fly low and understand some speed. It's a really fun uh, test flight because you have to fly low and you have to move left, right, you have to climb and maintain the same engine uh, power and see in the moment that you are losing the inertia and you have to speed up again otherwise you will start sinking and if you get into a position when you sink with the, with, with the flying saucer and you don't have enough space between you and the ground to speed up and get all the force all the energy in your saucer you can be in travel so that's one of the reasons you will see me going up cutting the engine and going down in different in in, in, in in different maneuvers couple more minutes after the flight left and right maneuvers going out of the area telling everybody that I will be in the testing zone and filling the machine, filling the, 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 the control with the amount of trim. We have two axis electrical trim. It comes uh, by default, it goes standard in the, in the AG915 Javelin. Um, the cabin, the weight of the cabin depends on how you load it. So low loading means you need to be very careful with your power. Sometimes you need to use ballast if you are not used to do the controls. Um, as you can see in the video, the, the, the control is, is practically in the middle. This is, this is what we want to achieve. Uh, what kind of power, what kind of speed you need to have or you should have when you are cross country and you want to fly from A to B. Uh, later in the, in the next videos we will talk about autopilot. We, we don't have it right now. Um, 
it takes more time it's not that easy as, as many people think we don't offer something that we don't know we need to we haven't tested so check the next video we'll talk about autopilot Right, five minutes in the flight and this is when the fun begins we arrive to the point and I need to speed up changing some power on the engine at those temperatures there is also very important for the engineers to understand how much is the difference on temperature and if they drop the temperature to keep the temperature if you are in a very hot summer and you use a lot of power if the NACAS are working it all these design that we have these new designs that we have where we put the engine and the areas that we need to refrigerate the engine so all of this that you will see in the in, in the video in the next in the next minutes of the video is, is is what I have. Don't do this at home. Be careful. If you fly low, fly fast, and be careful with your area. You can find cables. You can find obstacles, and that's a bad day in the office. Right. Turn left and right and see how much my saucers lose power or gain power with the weight. As much as force I put, as much as downward force, as fast as the saucer will spin, as they will give us, this is amazing how you can maintain this lift using drag and weight. So the two things that in other machines are the principles of anti-fly that don't let you fly well these two things the designer in the, in the 20s when they designed this technology uh, were thinking well we can use the things that we don't like to we don't like in the in the other machines we can use it to create lift so we create a balance right it's not really efficient yes it's not really efficient but remember that in in the 1920s the airplane was also a baby and both technologies at that time start growing together but at that time what the people who designed the gyrocopter these flying saucers were looking is to move you safe so yes the flying saucer the gyrocopter was the first urban air mobility vehicle the, all of this information I, I've been gathering in the last two years. I've been really, really busy traveling, talking to people, understanding this technology. I was not sit down just, just, just trying to fix and trying to, you know, make mock-ups to sell and just, you know, no, 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 no. This is this is a real development, and part of the development was to understand the market. I'm pretty sure that many of you watching this video haven't seen a gyrocopter before. This is the unknown flying machine. And I want to invite you to check our website and to keep Googling and to keep understanding this flying saucer technology. Right, almost uh, nine minutes on the v on, on the flight. Uh, this is edited, of course. There is something. I mean, it, it becomes a little bit boring if we just continue just, just just flying around. But for me, it's important that you see the stability of the machines. That's because I didn't cut the video, and I'm just doing this and, and try to put myself as, as you know that you can see the whole. The, the whole thing this this is joining in in, in, in a test flight uh, we were gathering a lot of information in the iPad the javelin the AG915 javelin comes with a flexible arm so you can have instruments or entertainment for the passenger or if you are law enforcement you can have an operator desk literally to drop drones to use cameras there is tons of things Write us if you want more information, if you're watching this and if you work in law enforcement and you're looking for aerial platforms, manned aerial platforms, uh, well the flying saucer is your machine, is uh, is a jeep with a flying saucer. This is what you have, the AG915 Javelin is the only gyrocopter available in the market right now, tested with 
746 liters of volume in the back 746 liters in the volume plus um, you will see soon when I just take a break of the maneuvers and I and I just took my cell phone and and, and 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 do some you know pictures for the social media you can see that we have not just a space in the back there's a, there's a space in the center and there's a console in this video you will not see the console because it was a test flight but you can see that that the, there is right here there you go there's a um, there, there's a cabinet that you have space for storage you can put um, wireless chargers in the center you can uh, you, you you have usb connectors um, actually we uh, one of our clients got the idea to put some uh, isolation in this compartment not use it for the navigation and have kind of refrigerators storage for water for drinks Continuing the flight, uh, you know, taking some pictures, taking some pictures of the instruments. It's, uh, it's, it's easy to take a picture right now. We, we have the video, there was another camera pointing the, the instruments, plus the data that is getting from the computer of the engine, the computer we install, and the, and, and the real-time navigation of the iPad beside. So, Finish the break, uh, the test flights, normally when I do the test flights, I take like five to 10 minutes of maneuvers and then five minutes of rest to see the difference on temperatures, if they rise, if they low, if there's some pressure changing. Um, it's exactly what I just, just getting into a lot of stress and remove the stress and just keep it calm and then put a little bit of stress and come back again so if something have to fail we we that's what we're doing the test flight so the things that will fail they'll fail to us initially rather than you And as a reminder, uh, please check our website, the QR code, the Air Gyro website for our dealer's information. If you want to become a dealer, give us a, an email, give us a call. Uh, we have a program, we have some requirements for the dealerships and for the distribution. For the experimental kits in the United States, if you're watching this video and you're in the United States, you haven't seen flying saucers you haven't seen these machines well you actually can go to our dealership you can build your own you can become a builder you can get certified and you will actually make like a small career of these the training for the new builders assistant there's a new builders assistant program it have to be performed in, in in the right way with the right people around the the test time of the aircraft and doing all these things that i'm that you will see in the videos and just spinning around they will be performed with companion with our dealers and now the experts so we will remove a lot of safety issues with the with the experimental uh, gyrocopter. The flying saucer concept comes as a way to understand the the, the flying the flying of the of, of these vehicles. They are not helicopters. They don't fly like helicopters. They don't use the same principle of lift as a helicopter. They are not fixed wings, they are not airplanes, they don't need to go forward and fast to create lift. The rotor is going fast enough, is spinning fast enough to create the lift and the resistance enough and enough resistance to keep you in there when you're pushing. So you're technically a flying saucer, you are flying like a kite. It's a big umbrella on top of you that gives you the safety flying vehicle in the market in the experimental market with the right training with the right builder and with the right if you follow all the specifications and you operate by the book you literally have the safest machine in the air there's no one who can you know argue against that 
right, we continue in the fly, low, very fast understanding the loading the amount of force that I have with a not really heavy configuration with a big saucer at high speeds I want to see if there is vibration I want to see if the controls are, are, are actually responding to my inputs what kind of inputs I need to use to go up and down and the speed is very important, the forward speed, the indicator speed, the amount of air that is coming from the, from the, the moving forward, all right? That's the main thing that you have to be like focused in your flight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoy some, uh, some of my explanation. Check our website, check our sponsor. Thank you so much for those guys, you know, helping us to continue with this flying saucer initiative. And see you in the next video. We're gonna have, uh, they, they wanna have one a little bit more in action, cutting the engine, going down. So, a little preview after this one of the next one and fly safe, thanks for watching.